Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to WWE 2K15 SmackDown. And it's finally time for our European Championship match. Can Bad News Barrett retain the championship against the fight of the man gravity forgot, Adrian Neville? Welcome everybody to SmackDown Live from Providence, Rhode Island as we prepare to see who moves on to the WrestleMania Championship Showcase where the Intercontinental Champion will face off with the United States Champion versus the Hardcore Champion versus the European Champion. That's right, the four mid-card champions collide at WrestleMania and it's Bad News Bear turn to put his belt on the line. Can he go to WrestleMania? Or will the Red Arrow himself, Adrian Neville, move on as the brand new European Champion? The man that gravity forgot, Adrian Neville, won a fatal four-way contest to earn this shot at the European Championship. Can he pull it all together tonight and take the belt from Bad News Barrett and move on to the Championship co Showcase of WrestleMania? He is only one red arrow away from putting Baron away and moving on to his very first WrestleMania. We'll see if he can get it done. And there's what's on the line, everybody. The prestigious WWE European Championship. Neville wants it, and Barrett wants to keep it. Bad News Barrett, of course, won the title from William Regal. I've uh, been reigning for a few months now, and Adrian Neville's been hot on his trail, trying to work his way up to the ranks to earn this shot. And once he came through in that fatal four-way, Neville's been on absolute fire, uh, defeating Bam Bam Bigelow last week in a pick-your-poison match. So Barrett had his chance to soften up uh, Neville with uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam could not get the job done. But Neville looks to finish this once and for all and take the European Championship to WrestleMania. And of course, Bad News Barrett, already having defeated his former tag team partner William Regal for the title, would love to march into WrestleMania into the first ever Championship Showcase Fatal 4-Way and put a stamp on England in the European Championship, making it the top mid-card title in the WWE. Clubbing shot to the back there by Barrett. Great work by Neville there making the comeback. Not gonna let Barrett get too far ahead in this uh, in this championship contest. Big kick to the gut by Neville. But Barrett avoids the drop kick to the knee, and Barrett, great agility there, comes into the neck breaker. Uh, Adrian Neville is now grounded. The high flying superstar brought down to the mat. Survives the bow and arrow submission. But he can't avoid these big right hands from the former bare knuckle fighter. But Neville's still got a lot of fight in him. Double leg trip. Big right hand to Barrett. And there's those hard kicks Neville loves to throw. But he can't capitalize. Barrett. Oh, Barrett tried the Irish whip. Reversed by Neville. Neville tries now. Irish whip. And reverse by Barrett. Both these men know each other so well. And look at the stairs. The winds a change to Adrian Neville. And will that be enough here for Barrett to retain the championship? One, two, and no. Neville survives. Shot off into the ropes. Snaps off a suplex there. Oh, and there's a spinning spine buster by Barrett. Will that be enough? Cover one. Ooh, and only a one count. Neville's still got a lot of fire. 
So I've got a lot of gas in the tank. Reverse suplex by Barrett, though. And Neville's got to be feeling a little bit of the pain by now. Taking quite a beat in the last few minutes. Oh, no. There it is. Bad news hits the bull hammer on Adrian Neville. And are his championship, championship dreams crushed already here? Yes, they are. My goodness. Bad news, Barrett. Absolutely dominant on the road to WrestleMania. What a win for bad news. Let's take a look at how it went down here. There's the winds of change. Brought Neville crashing down hard into the mat. But he was able to survive. And then Barrett busted out a slight variation into the spine buster. And Neville still hung on. But then, once he brought that elbow to the side of the head, it was all that was said and done for Adrian Neville for the one, two, three. Bad luck for Neville. And a big victory for bad news as he moves on to WrestleMania. So far, the people who have qualified is Hardcore Champion Batista, United States Champion Seth Rollins, and now, Bad News Barrett. Next week here on SmackDown, brand new Intercontinental Champion Kofi Kingston will defend against The Miz and Roman Reigns in a triple threat match just one day before WrestleMania. Congratulations to Barrett. He fills out the third spot in the Champion Showcase. This past Wednesday on Main Event, Chris Jericho cost Edge a match against the Ultimate Warrior. And when he tried to beat down Edge after the match, Warrior came back and made the save. Tonight, Edge and Warrior team up against the Living Legend. And here comes the Warrior bolting down the aisle, full speed. And what a tag team match this should be. Oh, Hall of Fame quality superstars everywhere you look. The Warrior and Edge team up against Jericho and Flair. The Rated R Superstar having a very rough week this week. Of course, at WrestleMania, he will face John Cena, determine the true number one contender at WrestleMania, or for after WrestleMania. But this week, been particularly rough. Picked uh, the Ultimate Warrior for a Pick Your Poison match against John Cena, and John Cena defeated his hand picked opponent. From there, Edge tried to defeat the Warrior himself, but was jumped by Jericho and thrown in headfirst into the steps. Well, Edge tries to finish out the week strong by defeating Jericho and Flair, along with his tag team partner, the Ultimate Warrior. Y2J Chris Jericho cost Edge his match uh, on main event, and Jericho's not been having too great of a week either as he lost in mere minutes to the man from the dark side, the WWE Champion, The Undertaker, on Raw. So we have two of the top math men in main events of WrestleMania, Jericho and Edge, looking to close out Bad Week Strong with a big tag team victory. And of course, Jericho's got backup from his crew, the Living Legends. He's got the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, by his side. And of course, the third member of the Living Legends, Booker T, will try to qualify for the WrestleMania Money in the Bank match a little later on tonight. Can Jericho and Flair get the job done against Edge and the Warrior? What a tremendous, legendary tag team matchup this should be. There's the bell and Warrior gonna start out with Jericho here. I'm sure Warrior's glad to get his hands on Y2J. Uh, Jericho tried to continue attacking Edge after Edge was defeated by Warrior. And Warrior came back down and made the save, running off the WrestleMania number one contender. And of course, Jericho's got bigger fish to fry at WrestleMania. He's going to be facing the dead man, The Undertaker, in the main event for the WWE Championship. So the fact that he tried to rekindle his feud with Edge is a little strange. But considering the beatdown he took from Undertaker, I'm sure Jericho was just trying to flex his muscle and show people that he's still got a lot of momentum headed into the biggest show of the year. Excellent short DDT there by Jericho. You gotta get the warrior dazed and confused. He's just too physically imposing uh, to take down otherwise.
And there you see that strength of the warrior knocking down Y2J. Makes the tag to the rated R superstar who can't wait to get his hands on Jericho. But Jericho, just too crafty, hits the side rushing leg sweep. Oh, look at that. Swings right around and brings Edge down to the mat. And Edge flips things around with that running bulldog and then drops a knee right into the kidneys of Jericho. Oh, but look at Y2J, classic Insiguri right upside the head of Edge. These two men know each other so well, it's hard for either one to get a true advantage for any amount of time. Big knife Edge chop, not knocks Edge down, but Edge way too close to the ropes for that single leg crab. Oh, and Jericho was looking for a tag from the Nature Boy, but got cut off by the Rated R Superstar. Right hand block. Smash with a left by it, Jericho. And Jericho again. I think Edge is way too close to the ropes here. No, he's got him just that far enough away from the ropes. Edge trying to pull his way over there. And he makes it. I'm sure a little bit of damage was done to the spine of Edge. But not nearly as much as if Jericho could have held that on. Jericho adjusts his strategy, goes after the left arm of Edge. And uh-oh. He might have Edge lined up for the code breaker. Knee to the jaw. Edge sent fly for the cover. The count. And oh man, Warrior makes a save at the very last second. Knee to the gut by Edge and a big back elbow takes Jericho down. Whoa, Jericho elevated high into the air with the flapjack. And the Rated R Superstar is making up some ground here. Getting back in this fight. But Jericho finally makes the tag to Flair. And Flair's completely fresh. Big right hand to Edge. Forearm shot right to the face of the Ultimate Warrior. And can the Nature Boy finish Edge here? Scoops him up. Shoulder breaker continuing that work that Jericho started. Into the cover. One. Two. Oh, oh, it was only two. I wasn't sure if the three came out before Warrior could make it. And then Nature Boy picks Edge right back up and goes right back to work on the arm. Beautiful shoulder breaker there by the Nature Boy. Oh, and there's a dirty rake of the eyes. And Flair thinks that's enough cover. But the Warrior, too fast, comes right in and breaks it up. And there's that classic Ric Flair chop. And then a second one blocked by Edge. What does he have in mind here? Belly to back suplex drops Flair right on his head. Flair's stuck in the corner now. And Edge, Tornado DDT brings Flair into the Edge and Warrior corner. Tremendous reversal there by Flair. It brings the knee into the ribs. Flare out of the corner, and he gets some of the flapjack that Y2J took earlier. And in comes the Warrior. And what does he have in mind for Ric Flair here? Grapples him. Oh, big right hand. And a second one. And a third one finally puts the two-time Hall of Famer on his back. Blocked by Flair. Answers with the left hand of his own. Uh oh, and Warrior takes a mount position. Left and right and left and right and one more right. My goodness, the Warrior's absolutely brutal. And another shot. How many of these punches can Ric Flair take? Arm buster by the Warrior. And the Warrior's rolling here. Pushed off by Flair. And he scoops the Warrior up now, gonna try to take some of that power away. There's another nasty shoulder breaker. And you can see the pain in Warrior's arm. And now Flair takes a few steps back, lines it up, and drops that knee right into the forehead. And Flair thinks that's enough. Cover now. No, the ultimate warrior kicks out just at two. Shot to the back of Warrior. 
And look at the laser focus to Ric Flair. Working on both men's arm as consistently as he can. Locks up the warrior and brings him over with the vertical suplex. Jericho and Flair doing a great job. Staying nice and fresh. Making sure you got a nice fresh man on the apron. And getting work done in the ring. Great work by Flair, by Flair and Jericho. Flair drops the knee right into the face of the Warrior one more time. And he thinks he's got it done here. One, two. Oh, and the Rated R Superstar makes the save. Nice belly, a nice gut wrench suplex there by Ric Flair. Warriors looking like he needs to make a tag desperately to edge, but I don't know that Flair and Jericho are going to allow it. Break of the eyes by Flair. You see Flair taking a lot out of him to f fling Warrior around the ring like this. Warrior, very heavy individual, muscle weighs more than fat, and that must mean the Ultimate Warrior is carrying a lot of weight. Got to be. 275, 280 pounds, solid with muscle. But that doesn't stop Ric Flair from throwing another gut red suplex. What power. Covered by the Nature Boy. Ooh, and another close call. The Ultimate Warrior must tag Edge here at some point. And the Warrior buys himself a little time with an atomic drop. Flair cuts him off early. Big atomic drop, big chop. And a solid knee to the ribcage. Warrior reverses the Irish whip. This is Warrior's chance to make the tag. But he gets brock brought back inside by Flair. Cover here. Oh, and Edge was too late. Edge was too late and the living legends pick up the victory here on SmackDown. Let's take a look. Jericho blasted Edge with the uh, code breaker, but the Ultimate Warrior made the save. Then Edge stayed at work on the shoulder, hitting that beautiful shoulder breaker, but the Warrior was able to come in and break it up. And then Nature Boy viciously dropped a knee right into the face of the Ultimate One for the cover, the count, but the Warrior survived it too. And then Ultimate Warrior stepped to the outside, but got caught by Flair. Edge bumped off the apron, couldn't make it back in time. And Flair and Jericho reign supreme right here on SmackDown. And this has to make Jericho pretty happy after taking that vicious loss at the hands of The Undertaker this past Monday on Raw. He is back on track and looking to take the title in the main event of WrestleMania. This past week on main event, the Divas champ uh, the Divas tournament continued with Paige and Tamina. Tamina took a hard loss, and tonight she's challenged Paige to a rematch. Tamina Snuka coming so close to defeating Paige in the Divas tournament exclusively on main event. Tonight she looks to get a little revenge against the Norwich native Paige. And of course, Paige picked up the big victory, moving on to round two of the Divas Tournament, exclusively on main event. Tonight, she looks to repeat and shut down Tamina once and for all in a one-on-one -on -one rematch. Will Paige lock in the uh, PTO, or will she use the Rampage or the Page Turner to possibly put Tamina away one more time? Now, after her match with Tamina, she was viciously attacked by Nikki Bella, who is the current number one contender going into WrestleMania. I'm sure Paige will be looking for revenge this week against the fearless one, Nikki Bella.
nice back and forth action here to kick off this matchup. These lovely ladies lock back up. Paige with the waist lock. And look at that. Brings Serena up and down. Nice side headlock here. And a short right hand to break it up. Huge backbreaker by Paige. Showing a lot of power here, picking up the larger Tamina like this. But Tamina not to be outdone. Hooks up Paige and brings her over with the vertical suplex. And a drop kick to the spine. Tamina trying to soften up that midsection when she hits that big splash off the top. Paige avoids the elbow shot. Reversal of the Irish whip by Tamina. And oh no, oh no! Paige right into the post. Oh my goodness. Talk about shoulder pain. And then whipped out of the corner. Huge hip toss brings Paige over. This upcoming week on main event will be the final match of the first round of the Divas Tournament as Natalia rekindles her old rivalry with Cameron. Judo style arm toss there by Tamina as she continues to put pressure on Paige. Vicious Irish whip crumbles Paige out of the corner and then a devastating elbow to the spine. Oh, and there's a signature Samoan drop by Tamina. Will that be enough to put the former number one contender away? And it is. Tamina picks up the huge victory on SmackDown and gets revenge for her loss on main event. Let's take a look. That was a huge Samoan drop. You can see the shock waves it sent right through Paige and then turned over for the cover, the count, and the victory here on SmackDown. Here's another look. Oh, devastating assault to the back of Paige. Especially after we saw that big elbow drop and that drop kick to the back. There was only so much Paige could take as Tamina picks up the victory. Well, Tamina, this gives her a boost outside of the Divas tournament. And I'm sure Paige now is starting to grow a list of Divas she's going to need revenge on. I'm sure Nikki Bell is at the top of the list, but Tamina can't be far behind. And now it's time to fill another spot in the WrestleMania Money in the Bank ladder match with a six-man battle royal. And we look to fill another spot in the Money in the Bank, and kicking things off is Dolph Ziggler. He's been teaming up with Rick Rude as part of the Chick Magnets, but tonight, he's stepping back into singles competition to try to get a spot in that Money in the Bank briefcase match. Can he climb the ladder of success, or will he come tumbling down here on SmackDown? Rey Mysterio came up a little short inside the Intercontinental Title Chamber match and he looks to get back on track and get an instant title match by winning the Money in the Bank at Wrestlemania but to get there, he's got to survive these five men in a battle royal. And the Macho Man, Randy Savage, been on a roll as one half of the Mega Powers. But they came up a little short in the Tag Team Contendership Tournament. So tonight, the Macho Man strikes out on his own to see if he can claim a spot at WrestleMania and get that Money in the Bank briefcase. I try to move on for a shot at the WWE Championship. New Day member Xavier Woods on his way to the ring, former tag team champions, and of course, one of their members, Kofi Kingston, is the brand new Intercontinental Champion. Can Xavier Woods shock these legends and win this battle royal and move on to the big time ladder match at WrestleMania? Or will he flounder and have to wait 
for the beginning of a new day. Former hardcore and WWE champion CM Punk on his way to the ring to try to qualify for the match that he's won twice in his career. He looks to make it a round three by winning tonight and moving on to his third Money in the Bank ladder match so he can claim that instant title shot in the briefcase and put himself back on top where he belongs as the best in the world. Six-time world champion, Booker T, would love to make it seven times at the hands of the Money in the Bank briefcase. But tonight, he has to overcome five other men in this over-the-top battle royal to move on to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Can Booker T spin a Rooney his way to a victory here tonight? Or will he be a sucker? There's the bell, and which one of these six men move on to WrestleMania? Macho Man Xavier Woods going at it, Punk and Mysterio on the outside, and Ziggler and Booker T go going at it. And we have three men in danger already. Punk saves himself, Xavier saves himself, and so does Ziggler. Tremendous belly to belly by Macho Man. Punk brought down by Mysterio, and Booker T dumps out. Dolph Ziggler to kick things off. Ziggler, the first man eliminated, and he can't believe it. The show off loves to go all night long, but tonight he was cut a little short. CM Punk desperately trying to eliminate one of his biggest rivals in history, CM Punk. The Punk holds on with a huge shoulder to the gut. Xavier Woods jumps Mysterio from the high behind with the teardrop suplex and then leaves him be so Punk can go back to work. Xavier Woods and Booker T going at it now. And Xavier Woods trying to hold on here, and he does. Macho Man conserving his energy. Oh, decides to go after Booker T here as Punk sends Mysterio over the top. Mysterio and Booker T in danger here, and both men save themselves. Booker T as Xavier Woods, and now Macho Man decided to help too. Xavier Woods being double teamed by two legends here, but uses the big right hand to fight his way out. Punk almost eliminates Mysterio on the other side. And look at that, Mysterio turns the page around. And now he's got Punk, and Punk is eliminated by Mysterio. Ziggler and Punk eliminated early on here, and now we're down to our final four. Which one of these four men go to WrestleMania? Booker T and Macho Man going at it on the right. Mysterio and Xavier Woods going at it on the left. And Mysterio. Oh man, super sunset flip drives Xavier Woods on the back of his skull. And Booker T eliminated by the Macho Man Randy Savage. And Xavier Woods has outlasted three former world champions. Mysterio had a chance to eliminate Macho Man, but Macho Man brought himself back in too fast. Double team here, double trip by Woods and Macho Man. And then, all oh, they flip Mysterio onto his back. Devastating slam. Tremendous momentum behind that maneuver. Oh, and then a vicious pile driver by the Macho Man. He knows how dangerous Mysterio is in Battle Royals. He's so small and so quick. It's hard to catch him and toss him out. And now Xavier Woods is the victim of a double team. As Mysterio kicks Macho Man in the leg. Standing switch by Macho Man. Clubs Mysterio in the back of the head. And Xavier Woods doing the smart thing here, reserving his energy. He knows he's got a fight on his hands no matter who gets eliminated. Oh, look at that. Woods held Mysterio in place for the big kick to the head from Macho Man. Woods into the corner. 
And Mysterio trying to get rid of Woods, but it's broken up by Macho. Macho in on the outside again. And Mysterio and Woods now making an effort. But Macho Man is just too much for that combination. Punches his way out of the situation. And a short arm neck breaker rocks Mysterio. Woods into the corner and collides with the Macho Man. And look at that Macho Man with a brilliant reversal to Mysterio. And now Mysterio is getting a mud hole stomped in him. And now it's Woods who holds Macho Man in place for a kick from Mysterio. And I think Woods is playing the field pretty well here. There's a nice jab combination in the split. And that final right hand takes down Macho Man. And Rey Mysterio not immune to an attack by Xavier Woods. But Mysterio able to reverse it. Woods continues to get these men to help him out. And look at that. Xavier Woods skins the cat to stay alive in this one. And look at this Mysterio and the Macho Man trying to get rid of Xavier Woods here. They had enough of his, of his manipulations. But still, Woods finds a way. And I guess that's how you end up with a PhD. You gotta be pretty smart to get one over on Xavier Woods. Dropped a hold by Mysterio. Look at this. Mysterio eliminated by Macho Man. And now we're down to Xavier Woods and the Macho Man Randy Savage. Macho catches the kick. Woods avoids the drop kick from Macho. Woods with an amazing head scissor takeover. Oh my goodness, what a huge left hand by the Macho Man Randy Savage. And answered back with another by Xavier Woods. Macho Man over the top, could Woods pull this off here? And Woods has done it. Woods has done it. Woods has ever come. Five world champions to move on to the Money in the Bank ladder match. And what a, what an upset this is. And what an amazing upset it would be for Xavier Woods to win the Money in the Bank at WrestleMania. Big time congratulations to the New Day member. He has shocked the world this week on SmackDown. And Woods joins Andre the Giant, Rob Van Dam, and the Big Red Machine Kane as a fourth member of the ladder match. And we'll fill out another spot this week on Raw and SmackDown. And the heated war between Daniel Bryan and the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels continues this week in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Oh my goodness, and look at this. Shawn Michaels has attacked Daniel Bryan on the way down to the ring. That's the same type of attack that Wade Barrett put on, uh, put on Daniel Bryan a few months ago. And one of the reasons that led to Daniel Bryan absolutely snapping. Now Michaels and Daniel Bryan tried to be form a tag team, but when Michaels was the person pinned in two matches, Daniel Bryan absolutely snapped. And you can see here from the attack he's putting on Michaels, he still feels just as powerful as he did at the time he originally turned on Michaels. Now HBK picked up a big victory at Elimination Chamber, but that's the only win he's had he's had over Daniel Bryan. He's been absolutely struggling against his former student 
in uh, the past few, the past month here on SmackDown. So Michaels has got a big uphill battle when these two collide at WrestleMania. And kicked to the leg by Bryan, and oh my goodness. And I think Michaels had hit the post off of that last kick, covered by Daniel Bryan. And Shawn Michaels survives. And Dana Bryan tries to go for another pin, doesn't even get one on HBK. Luthez pressed by Michaels, and he channels his inner stone cold with those piston-like right hands. And Michaels now goes for the cover, and only a one count. Bryan avoids the baseball bat, hits a big right hand. Crucifix pin, only a one count on HBK. Michaels with a reversal. Big right hand. And a chop. And another right hand, my goodness. Blocked by Bryan. Hits the knee to the gut. Michaels avoids a running kick. And Daniel Bryan eats a running back elbow. Cover here by Michaels. Only a one count. Both these men, very resilient and extremely tough. It's going to be a hard match for either man to win. Especially when falls count anywhere in the building. Arm buster by Brian, and Michaels is down. Brian to the leg again, and here's those yes kicks directly into the chest. Oh, and that final kick to the head one more time. Is that enough to put HBK away here? No, Michaels kicks out at two. And Brian continues to pound away, and then a devastating knee to the gut sends Michaels head over tip. And HBK is pulling out all the stops in this Falls County ma wear match. Big rake to the eyes. But Brian still fights back. Atomic drop by Michaels. Oh, and he tried to throw the super kick, but Daniel Bryan fell to the ground. Covered by Michaels. And a kick out by Brian. Only a one count. Oh, and there's that sweet chin music. Knocks Daniel Bryan down to the mat, and this might be it here. And it's all over. The Heartbreak Kid finally picks up another victory against Daniel Bryan. Let's take a look at how it went down here. Running leg lariat knocked Michaels down. Was, was enough to keep him down. And then that head kick. I believe it ricocheted Michael's head off the post there, and I thought that was going to be it. But Shawn Michaels somehow dug deep and kicked out. And then here, Daniel Bryan almost ate it right there after the atomic drop, but he had fallen down and Michaels missed the sweet chin music, giving Daniel Bryan the opportunity to survive until he got the true sweet chin music right on the chin by HBK for the cover, the count, and the victory for the Hall of Famer. And what's this now? Michaels goes to the outside. Come on. Come on, Sean. The match is over. The match is over. Come on. I know Daniel Bryan turned on you pretty viciously, but that's pretty low, even for you, HBK. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you guys for tuning in. And keep an eye out for Raw coming up this week, as well as main event and SmackDown. And, of course, this upcoming Saturday will be WrestleMania. Thanks for watching, everybody.